Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Steve Leon. Today I've got my grandson, Jacob James Leon, with me. Uh, Jake, a couple of weeks ago when, I, uh, when he knew we were going to be together, he emailed me and said, you know, how about I do a Daily Hope when you're here? So he volunteered and I said, absolutely. So Jake, share what you'd like to share today. Today we open in prayer with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And what a powerful just prayer, but there's two problems that many Christians of us have. The first of which is that we often don't understand what it means behind some of those like fancy older words. For example, at the start, our Father who art in heaven, it means our Father who is in heaven. So we're acknowledging that we have a heavenly Father. And then hallowed be thy name means holy be your name, as we're now talking directly to God. So it's like set apart be his name is what holy means. Thy kingdom come means like your kingdom will come to earth. Your will, uh, thy will be done means like your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then give us our daily bread means kind of like provide for our needs. And then forgive us for our trespasses just means like forgive us for our sins as we forgive like other people who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation of like things from the world, but like deliver us from the evil things of the world also because God is the power forever and ever and ever and the glory. And then the other main problem is many of us, myself included, don't pray the Lord's Prayer and many other prayers. We just like merely say it. We just kind of subconsciously say it like when the pastor tells us or like the favorite like prayer we do like before we eat. We just kind of rush through it just so we can go and eat. We don't really think about the words that we are saying. Yeah. So what prompted you to offer? Because I didn't know what you were even going to talk about today. So what prompted you to want to talk about the Lord's Prayer? I don't know, I just kind of felt like it was something, felt called to do it by God. Good for you. Well, I'm glad you did. So how about we close with prayer together? Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of prayer, that we can come into your throne room and we can be called to your children and run to you like our Heavenly Father. And so uh, we know that you open your arms of embrace and thank you for Jake and his faith and trust in you. and for the new understanding that you've given him about this prayer and how important it is. And so uh, we lift up all those that we love and all those that are watching and listening today. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, all the time when I close Daily Hope, there's a little line that I always say, and Jake and I are going to say it together. So remember that, that you, you are loved and you are, are never alone. alone.